ever. Yet they were using this to enforce the color on people's houses. They were saying there's a color power. That's because the previous board didn't do their job. So in order for there to be a color palette, us, the community, the voters, the membership, we have to vote 60% on agreement to that color palette. That's never been done. So that's one of the lawsuits that we find ourselves in right now is because of that. Not only that, but people were driving by, not saying who they were, just saying that if they worked for the Riviera or they were volunteers for the Riviera, asking neighbors to turn on neighbors and what violation has your neighbor done? So all this time that like we are in this global pandemic, just trying to, we've lost jobs, you know, nobody has not been affected. We're grieving the loss of loved ones. Now the Riviera has set up a system where we are being asked to turn in our neighbors. It is extremely affecting our daily lives for the people that live on this island. So why aren't those people fixing the, if they can read the covenants and they're not following it, why aren't, why aren't they following it? Right. Well, that's, 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 no, you're, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. We, we, we are supposed to follow the covenants by law and everything is outlined. I get it. I'm not, I'm not saying you, you get a pass if you do something in secret. That's not what I'm saying. But when somebody's actively trying to go and get turn neighbor against neighbor, or now people are wondering, all right, I got a fine. Did my neighbor turn me in for that? Like, that's just wrong. That's not the community Anderson Island is back. Is that Facebook we're talking about? No, these are people that were driving by our houses. We're saying, hi, what are you doing? Why are you taking pictures of our houses? And they would say what they were doing. Well, what is your name? Well, I'm not telling you my name. It's How many it's times has that occurred? I can only speak for the ones I know of in my neighborhood and for the people that Well, just figured I'd do a minute or two of recording since I saw other people recording. Wow, this is a crazy meeting. Uh, some people have walked out and left, obviously. I don't think anything quite like this has ever happened before on the island. I, I mean, I've heard every couple of years something like this happens. But uh, just just look at how many fucking cars are here. This is insane. What are my views? Uh, I don't think you should have to be carded everywhere you go on the island. That's bullshit. <laughs> uh, mm, and I guess I'll give more nuanced views on the other stuff later. But yeah, this, this meeting is, is happening now. And uh, people are pissed on all sides, on all sides. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting. Like, it's kind of, like, sucks because it's, like, kind of a super spreader event in some ways because it's, like, uh... Hello, part two, if you're still watching. Um, as I was saying before, the video cut short. I don't think they intended it to be a super spreader event or whatever. Just people, they didn't know how many people would show up. And there's a certain percentage of the people on the island that do not believe that the COVID is as dangerous. And there's a certain percentage of the island that have been vaccinated. So they're more safe. Anyway, it was a clusterfuck. What do you think? <laughs> Um, I wouldn't use the Sorry. word clusterfuck particularly. Um, I thought it... I didn't like the the fact that it really wasn't clear in announcements as far as I could see. But of course, I went out on Facebook, so I didn't see yeah. that stuff. Yeah, I'm the one person who shouted I'm on Facebook. That um, I am on Facebook. That this guy, this one person basically rented the space... In order to uh, just expose his own personal things, it it uh -huh. it seemed like it was supposed to. Uh, I got the idea it was more of a community yeah. meeting, yeah, That's what specifically, I it would be. and would answer more community kind of questions versus. Um, I mean, granted, people were allowed to write down a question and and put it forward, but um, discussion wasn't really encouraged um and that led to some aggression <laughs> so there were you know there was some shouting and stuff but there was no fisticuffs good you know nobody got hysterical uh, it, and i basically was having trouble keeping awake so i just decided <laughs> after an hour and a quarter that I'd, that's how long that was i'd had wow. enough yeah thank you cyprian right. yeah um uh there is another meeting on the island for the other side, the board side. I don't think we're going to be going to that. Not necessarily because we don't agree with them, but because we've just had enough of being in an enclosed space for a period of time. Is that is that accurate? 
<laughs> well, yeah, it's a small enough space, and there were enough pe people there that it seemed to me it wasn't really a good idea to not wear my mask, even though I have been vaccinated. Oh, you mean the next meeting? Well, the next meeting, the room is even smaller, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if I'll be allowed to film at all there, so, like, yeah, anyway, have a good day, people.